What's up YouTube, it's your boy Yannick. I wanna welcome you back to the Sense and Style channel, the channel where we pair sense and style. Also on this channel, we talk about cologne reviews and various men's lifestyle subjects such as self-care, dating, and fashion. Now, if you're new to the channel, I wanna ask that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so that we know when the next video drops. Without further ado, let's get into what we're gonna talk about today. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing Paco Rabanne, One Million Lucky from the house of Paco Rabanne, of course, and this is a 2018 release. In the opening, we got plum, grapefruit, ozonic notes. In the mid, we got honey, hazelnut, jasmine, cashmere, and cedar. And in the base, we're gonna smooth this thing out with some vetiver, some oak moss, and patchouli. This fragrance is a sweet fragrance. And in the first sprays, you get that blend of grapefruit with that hazelnut. And I get that sweet, nutty vibe from this one, guys. And that hazelnut does remind me a tad bit of Nutella, but it is classified as a gourmand fragrance. And this is very, very delicious, guys. And that tends to happen on the dry down because like I said, in the first sprays, you get that grapefruit and that hazelnut vibe. Now this is a fall, winter, spring fragrance, better for those colder and cooler days. Now you could rock this one in the summertime, but take it easy on the sprays. Now, if you're not a fan of sweet fragrances, this one isn't for you. But I still think you should get your nose on this one though. Paco Rabanne 1 Million Lucky definitely is a casual fragrance and I see me wearing this on dates. I see me wearing it on errands just around town. I see me wearing this to the bars and to the lounge as well. The colors I see going with this is, is brown, maroon, tan. So if you're wearing anything with those colors, this would finish you right off. Or I'd even wear this one bad boy style. Leather jacket, black jeans, black boots, you know the deal. 